Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about fundamental cut sets and fundamental circuits. So basically you people keep these two things in mind. Number of fundamental cut sets are equal to number of branches in the spanning tree and number of fundamental circuits are equal to number of cords in the spanning tree. This is the given graph. From the given graph we draft out the spanning tree. So this is our spanning tree. So this is our spanning tree with uh, branches E2, E3, E6, E8. Okay. What are the branches and what are the cords? Branches are those um, edges which are there present in the spanning tree. So what are the uh, branches here? E2, E3, E8 and E6. But what are the, what are the cords? Cords are those edges which are not present in the spanning tree. I have marked them with a dotted line. Okay. These, uh, the spanning tree wasn't having E1, E4, E7 and E5. These are the dotted edges and the dotted edges from the graph drawn into the spanning tree are cords. Okay. Cords aren't present in the spanning tree, but they are, but both the cords and branches are present in the graph. Okay. So from branches, we uh, take out fundamental cut sets and from cords, we take out fundamental circuits. So to find fundamental cut sets, let's come to the fundamental cut sets. Okay. So the branches for the branches, so the branches are E2, E2, E3, E8 and E6. So for E2 branch, what is the fundamental cut set? The fundamental cut set's uh, basis or basic principle is that there should be only one branch and there can be more than one uh, cords in the set, set or cut set. Okay. So for E2, the branch, E2 is the branch itself and we could get two or more cords for the cut set. So the two cords would be E1 and E5. Therefore, this would be our cut set. So it would be E1, E5 and E2. Now for E3. Where's E3? E3. So for E3 branch, our cut set would be this one uh, branch and these two are the cords. So this can be our cut set. So for E3, E3, E4 and E7. E3, E4, E7. Now for E6. E6, our uh, cut set would be E6 is our branch which is present in the spanning tree and uh, cords we could take this could be our fundamental cut set the cords are E1, E5, E7 and E4 the cords can be more than two but the branch should be one necessarily only one so E6 is our branch and there are four cords so the cut set would be E1, E5, E6, E7 and E4 now for E8 for E8 we can have this cut set simply E8 is our branch and these two would be our cords so E1, E8 and E4 E1, E8, E4 now come into the uh, cords and fundamental circuits cords I have already explained to you right now so fundamental circuits in the fundamental circuit the basic principle is that there should be only one cord and there can be more than one branches the fundamental circuit concept is totally opposite of the cut set concept. In cut set, we are having, we need only one branch and in fundamental circuits, we need only one cord. So, the cords are, which are not present in the spanning tree, the cords are E1, E5, E7, E4. I have written it in here. So, for cord E1, fundamental circuit would be, when we take E1, what circuit is forming? One cord and more than one branches. So these are our branches and this is one cord. So the circuit would be E1, E2, E6 and E8. E1, E2, E6, E8. This is our circuit. For E5, where is E5? This is E5. Only one cord, there are two branches. More, more than one branch should be there. So we will take these two branches. So E2, E5, E6. E2, E5, E6. This is our fundamental circuit for E5 cord. Now for E4, E4, one cord, more than one branches. Take these branches. See, if you will consider this E4, E7 and E8, there are two cords, which is not possible. We need only one cord. So our, cut, our circuit would be E4, E8, E6, E3, E4, E8, E6, E3. This is our fundamental circuit for E4. Now for E7, where is E7? E7, yeah, this is our E7. Sorry, it's not visible neatly. So for E7, we need only one cord 
and two branches. So E7, E6, E3, E7, E3, E6. So these are the fundamental circuits and these are the fundamental cut sets. Keep it in mind number of branches equals to number of fundamental cut sets and number of cords is equal to number of fundamental circuits. The fundamental cut sets have the basic principle that there should be only one branch. Okay, cut set, one branch. And for fundamental circuits, there should be one cord. One cord, one branch, many cords, one cord, many branches. So these are the basic principle and you could just directly solve the given question. It's very easy then. So this is the concept. Thank you.